Good morning and welcome to the Church of St. Matthew as we celebrate the 14th Sunday in ordered time. I hope you have had a good celebration of the 4th of July Independence Day. I was reflecting on the readings and thinking and maybe I would invite you to spend a few moments contemplating the concept of independence and the concept of being yoked to the Lord. Let's take a few minutes to think about that, a few seconds to think about that as we prepare to celebrate the mysteries of the Eucharist. Again, welcome from wherever you are watching. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. We begin our prayer this morning by recognizing the gracious mercy of God, always there to lift us up, to draw us into union with him. Lord, you are meek and humble of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, your yoke is easy and your burden light. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the way that leads to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in the death and resurrection of your Son has raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with joy. For those you have rescued, you bestow eternal gladness. We pray this in the name of Jesus. He lives with you in the Holy Spirit one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Zechariah. Thus says the Lord, Rejoice heartily, O daughter of Zion. Shout for joy, O daughter of Jerusalem. See, your king shall come to you, a just, just savior is he, 
meek and riding on an ass, on a colt, the foil of an ass. He shall banish the chariot from Ephraim and the horse from Jerusalem. The warrior's bow shall be banished, bow shall be banished, and he shall proclaim peace to the nations. His dominion shall be from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, you are not in the flesh. On the contrary, you are in the spirit, if only the spirit of God dwells in you. Whoever does not have the spirit of Christ does not belong to him. If the spirit of the one who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, the one who raised Christ from the dead will give life to your mortal bodies also through his spirit that dwells in you. Consequently, brothers and sisters, we are not debtors to the flesh to live according to the flesh. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. The word of the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 as your is a Hallelujah, 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 
The Lord be with you. And And with your your spirit. spirit. The Gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory Glory to you, Lord. Jesus raised his voice and said, I give you thanks, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for you have not revealed these mysteries to the wise and to the learned, but to the merest of children. That is indeed your wish. All that is has been placed into my hands by the Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son and those to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy burdened, and I will refresh you. Take my yoke upon your shoulders and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for your souls. My yoke is easy, and my burden is light. The Gospel of the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 el Señor resucitó. Jesus uses images that his audience would readily understand and experience. He uses images of agriculture. He uses images of fishing. He, he uses images that relate immediately to the people who are, who are listening to him. And this is an agricultural image that he chooses today. He says, Come to me. Take my yoke upon your shoulders. Learn from me. I am meek and humble of heart. The yoke was made of wood. It was carved to fit over the neck and the shoulders of the animal. It prevented pain and discomfort. The word yoke was a term to describe submission. Two oxen were chosen to share the yoke. One an older, mature, and one young and immature. By sharing the yoke with a veteran, the younger one is trained. The experienced one draws harder to bear the majority of the load. And so the older one carries the majority of that load. The older one leads so that the younger one does not have to wander around and wonder what to do. The younger one learns from his mentor. He gains wisdom and he gains skill. This is the image that Jesus is using Now, the image of the yoke for the people of Israel was the image of the law. That God in his goodness had placed the law upon the shoulders of the people of Israel. And as they walked, they walked in fulfillment, in in obedience, in submission to that law. And there was someone to teach the young one. They would walk together. So there would be a a rabbi and a student, or there would be an older person and a younger person. Now, the law was interpreted by the Pharisees in a very burdensome way. Jesus said at one point that you are not to imitate what the Pharisees do. They bind up heavy burdens and they lay them on people's shoulders, and yet they're not willing to lift so much as a finger to help them carry it. 
Jesus says, you're tired of that. That's burdensome. So come to me. All of you who find this burdensome. And I will refresh you. Take my yoke upon your shoulders. The yoke that Jesus offers is the mercy of the Father. Take my yoke upon your shoulders. Learn from me. I'm the seasoned one. I'm the experienced one. You don't have to know everything. Just watch me. Learn from me. For I am meek and humble of heart. And if you do this, you will find rest for your souls. Now, in summary of this teaching, we might say that the yoke is the merciful love of God. Jesus is the messenger of God's mercy. And what Jesus says to you and to me this day is, get in yoke with me. Let me lead you. I will bear the weight of your burden. My yoke is good. You will find rest and companionship as we work together. Let us make our profession of faith with the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. We turn now to the Lord God and we make our prayer. For us, the church, may we assist others in need and help make their yoke easy and their burden light. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For all in the world who are suffering from persecution because of religion, may they be kept safe we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For each of us, as we celebrate the anniversary of our independence, may we proclaim peace in our country when it is convenient and when it is inconvenient. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those of us who enjoy prosperity, may we reach out to the poorest among us so that the burden of poverty may be lightened. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those suffering from drug addiction and for their families and loved ones, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us citizens of the United States of America, may we be the instruments of peace, justice, and liberty for all each day. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in our city, state, nation, and world continuing to struggle with COVID-19, may God comfort the families of those who died. May God protect and care for those who are recovering from the virus. 
and shelter those who are not yet affected. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the women and men who toil every day in public safety and health care, and all those who go to work each day, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. For all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, for all our intentions, spoken and unspoken, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. Come, Holy Spirit, make our ears to hear. Come, Holy Spirit, make our eyes to see. Make our mouths to speak, make our eyes to seek, make our hands to read. Out and touch the world with your love. Amen. Amen. Mary, Mother of the Church, pray. Pray that our sacrifice be acceptable to God, the Almighty. May the, May the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all God's holy church. May this offering dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring us closer to the life of heaven. 
We pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up, up to, to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you laid the foundations of the world. You have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed us in your own image. You set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder to rule in your name over all you have made and forever to praise you in your mighty works through your Son, Jesus Christ. And so with the angels and saints, we now praise your glory as we proclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name Lord, you truly are the Holy One. You are the source of all that is holy. We humbly pray that you make our gifts holy. Send your Spirit upon them. Grant that by the power of your Spirit we may receive from this altar the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. When he was betrayed and willingly entered into his passion, he gathered with his disciples and he took bread. He gave you thanks and praise. He broke the bread. He gave it to them and he said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body. It will be given up for you. And when supper was ended, he took the cup and once more gave you thanks. He gave the cup to his disciples, and he said, Take this, all of you, drink from it. This is the cup of my blood. The blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be poured out for you and for all that sin be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, by your death and resurrection, you have set us free. And so we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, and we offer you the bread of life and the cup of salvation. We thank you for counting us worthy to be in your presence and serve you. We humbly pray that all who share the gift of his body and his blood be brought together in unity by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Gather her together in charity with Francis, with Bernard, our bishop, and with the entire people your son has gained for you. Remember our sisters and brothers who have gone to their rest, believing in the resurrection. Remember all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your presence. And now have mercy on us all. That with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with St. Joseph, with the blessed apostles, with all the saints who have done your will throughout the ages, may we praise you in union with them and give you glory through your Son, Jesus Christ. For it is through him, with him and in him, God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, glory and honor is yours forever and ever. 
Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us, us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from all that is evil. Grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from all anxiety. We wait in joyful hope for the coming of the Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, for the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the, and the glory, glory are, yours, are yours now and forever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Bring the ones who are laid down. Bring them all to the Lord. Bring the children without might. Easy the Lord and light. Come to Let us pray together. Lord God, God our refuge, refuge in every danger, danger. We, we turn, turn to you in our distress. distress. Look with Look compassion, compassion upon, upon the afflicted. afflicted. Grant, Grant eternal rest to those, to those who have died. died. Give comfort, comfort to mourners. Grant healing to the sick. Give peace to the dying. dying. Give strength to health care workers. workers. Give, give us, us the, the courage, courage to reach out to all in your love. Look with favor and protect each of us and our families. We pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. A few extra announcements. On Saturday, July 18th, we'll have a public Mass here at St. Matthew's. In the last two weeks, the leaders of the parish have met to discuss how this will occur. They have made some recommendations and I've accepted all those recommendations. We will have mass at 4.15 on Saturday afternoon. The policies and procedures for that will be sent to you next week. They will be posted on the parish website as well. The 4.15 Saturday mass will be videoed by Alan Christensen. He has done this for 15 weekends since the middle of March. That video will be edited, uploaded, and broadcast at the usual Sunday time, 1015, on the St. Matthew's website. Uh, you can find it at uh, YouTube, or you can go to the St. Matthew's Facebook page. As we come back, there will not be a Sunday morning public Mass. The leaders of the parish want to preserve Father Steve's health as best possible, and we do not know how many folks will come back into the community, uh, but we are willing to add that Mass as needed. So please, if you want to come, come on Saturday the 18th, and you can watch Mass on Sunday the 19th. Thank you very much. Let us pray. Having received these gifts, O Lord, Grant that by our participation in this sacrament, its saving effect may grow within us. We pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your, your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. one day